How's it going, PD team? Today I have a special update video of a recently discovered feature that's been added into Cinema 4D 2025.1.1. And what is this update? Well, it has to do with the picture viewer. So for years now, I have been requesting having a pause feature underneath the stop rendering. I'd like a pause rendering. So I just would pause it while I go and move over to After Effects to just check out my renders and see how they work and just make sure everything's good. So I'll render out the first 10 frames, pause the render, check them in After Effects, and then continue along. Well, well, now we can just stop the render so you can see it's stopped and it's stopped on 58. So what I used to have to do was bring up my render settings here and put 58 here and then click render. So it would render from 58 to 160. Well, check this out. I no longer have to do that because I can just click the render button and then here's this new dialogue that pops up and it says, what do I want to do? Do I want to render all, which would overwrite all 58 frames, render without saving frames. I don't know why that's in there. And then render only 103 missing frames. So you can click that. And then once I click this, it will continue from uh, frame 58 and continue along. So so that's fantastic. So we essentially have a pause or stop and go feature within our render picture viewer. I'm going to hit cancel. And so I asked myself, well, I skimmed through the guides here. This is the update guides. You can find them in the articles section. And with this version, the only one that comes close to it, so it's not actually from what I've gathered, I don't see this feature in here, but there is this feature that I stumbled across. It says ability to define render sequences on multiple non-contiguous frames in the render settings. And I said, wait a second. So I can render out sequences that are broken and absolutely you can see it's grayed out. So I can come in here and say custom frame range. And then I could say render frame one, four through 10 comma 25 through 35. And it will render out these groups of frames. Pretty cool. I'm going to put this back to all frames. So that's two big updates to the render module that I thought was very interesting and well worth the wait. That's it. I hope you found this useful. Thanks so much. Don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss out on more content. Thanks for your support.